Hey, our friends say we're gonna be drawing a warthog. Yeah, we we recently went as a family to this really cool museum called the what? The Bean Museum. The Bean Museum, which has all of these awesome animals. And we went there to decide what animal we were gonna draw today, which is the warthog. Warthogs are really weird. Yeah. They're kind of ugly. They're like a pig with horns. Yeah, that's exactly what they are. They are a pig with horns. <laughs> if you haven't already, be sure to head over to our family YouTube channel where we go through the whole museum and try to decide which animal and we come across some really cool animals. Yes, so we So be did. sure to check it out. All right, what do we need for this lesson? A marker, some paper, and something to color with. All right. <laughs> Let's start by drawing his eye. We're gonna draw it really small. Since we're drawing a realistic warthog, we're just gonna draw a little oval for his eye. Then we also wanna make sure that it's far over here on the left side so that we have room for his body. Now we're gonna draw a little curve that goes over his eye. And then we're gonna draw a curve that comes down further. So I kind of curved the other direction. Yeah, now we gotta draw those cool tusks or horns or teeth yeah. or whatever they are. <laughs> so we're drawing a curve that comes up and then we're gonna draw a curve that comes down. So it looks like an A shape. Then we're gonna connect the bottom. All right, cool. Now let's draw another one right next to it, but shorter and smaller. Then let's connect that one also at the bottom. Did you already? Do? All yeah. Right, cool. Now we're gonna imagine this line, the front of his head coming through the tusk or the horn and coming a little further forward. Yeah, then we'll draw the front of his snout, his nose, then connect it into his teeth, or tusks, or whatever they are. Next, we're gonna draw the bottom of his head and his jaw, so we're gonna draw a curve coming back. All right, now let's jump back up here and draw his first ear. We're gonna draw a curve that comes back past his I, there we go, and then we're gonna curve back under for the bottom of his, his ear, and then we're gonna draw an S curve inside to finish his ear. All right, cool. Now we can draw his hair, his glorious hair. Luxurious. On his back. We're gonna draw a curve, and then a line back, zigzag, another one, and we're gonna do one more coming back. Now let's draw the bottom of his awesome hair. We're gonna draw a curve down, Short line back, another curve, short line. I'm gonna draw one more and then connect it in. All right, cool, now we can, if we want, we can draw smaller zigzags coming forward. And he looks awesome. Yeah, he does. Okay, <laughs> now let's draw those crazy bumps on his face that stick out that make him look really scary. If you had bumps that come out that far, I would run. Yeah. yeah. You'd look scary. <laughs> exactly. Well, maybe, maybe not so scary, but I'm more on the goofy side. <laughs> we're going to draw a small bump right here. And then we're going to draw a bigger one next to his eye. All right, and then we can also come back here. Let's draw a short line coming back for his mouth. All right, we did it. We drew his head and we got his hair. Let's draw his neck. We're going to draw a curve coming down. And then we're ready to draw his first leg. We're gonna start inside of his body, so we're gonna come up, and we're gonna curve down like this. And we don't wanna to curve too far down because we wanna give him shorter legs. Now we're gonna draw a short line for the bottom of his foot. Then we're gonna draw a short line up for the back of his foot. Then they've got these crazy little toes back here. And we're gonna start down here, curve up. Yeah, and then we're gonna curve back out for his muscles, so he looks strong. All right, that's some pretty awesome meaty high heels. legs. Yeah, it kind of does look like he's got <laughs> high heels. Let's add his hoof on the bottom of his foot. Hoof. His hoof. And then we're gonna draw, we're gonna draw a line for his toes. All right, cool. Let's draw his belly next. We're gonna draw, we're gonna imagine his neck coming underneath his leg, and we're gonna draw this curve for the bottom of his belly. All right. And then we can draw his back leg next. Let's start inside of his body. We're gonna curve backwards. And then we're gonna draw another line coming forward. And this line comes down to the same length as his front legs. Then we're gonna repeat all of the same steps that we drew for the front leg. Draw that short line for the bottom, short line up, 
And then that little toe, we're gonna curve out and in and up also. And then we're gonna come up higher. Once we get past that little bend, let's curve in like that. All right, now let's jump back down. We'll draw that diagonal line for his foot and his toes. All right, he looks really cool. Now we're gonna finish his back and we're gonna come down here and connect. So we're gonna start here and we're gonna curve up just a little bit around and watch this as I connect into his leg, I'm gonna curve in. Did that make sense? Yeah. So it's not a hard corner. Yeah, just like that. That looks really cool. Now we've got two legs, but he needs two more legs, doesn't he? Yeah. Okay, so let's draw his other front leg. We're gonna draw all of the same steps that we did for his other leg. Okay, so that short line for the bottom, short line for the back, and then let's curve and make those toe, the weird little toe at the end. And then I'm just gonna connect it to his front leg, yeah. Then let's draw that diagonal line for his hoof. And then another one for his toe. We got one more leg we're gonna draw back here. We're gonna draw this line. We're gonna match the front of his other back leg. Come forward, short line for the bottom, short line for the back. And then let's draw that little crazy toe. And as we come up here, let's just connect it into his leg. Yeah. All right, we're missing his, his uh, hoof. hoof. Yeah, his hoof. <laughs> and then we're gonna draw the toe line. All right, we're missing one thing on the back. His so, tail. His tail. We're gonna draw an S line that comes down like this and curve right at the end. Come back up here, draw another line right next to it that matches. And then they have some hair at the end of their tail. So let's curve out on both sides. And then we can connect it in with a little, I did a little point at the end. Now, warthogs are super wrinkly. So let's add some wrinkles on his neck. I'm just gonna add a couple. And then I'm also gonna add a couple wrinkles behind his front leg and maybe even a wrinkle or two back here behind his, or in front of his back leg. Let's do one last thing to make him look even more 3D. I'm gonna add another ear back here. We're up at the top. All right, Jack, we did it. We finished drawing our warthogs. They look super tough, except they're gonna look even better once we do what? Color them. Color them. This part we're gonna fast forward, but at the end, you guys can pause it to match the same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yes. You did awesome on coloring your warthog. I especially love all of the cool shading that you added. Yeah. It makes him look more 3D when you add shadows on his back legs. Now you can pause the video to match the same color. You can also leave off the shading to keep this lesson a little easier. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your warthogs. Yeah, we do. We hope you had a lot of fun. And remember, it's okay if your drawings don't look exactly like ours because our two drawings don't look exactly the same. And that's okay because they both look awesome. Yeah. And the most important thing is- To have fun. Have fun. And, and to practice. And to practice. And don't forget to head over to our family YouTube channel where we go through the Bee Museum and look at all of the cool animals. You can let us know in the comments what animal we should draw next. Yeah. Which one do you think we should draw? A giraffe. A giraffe. That would be a realistic one. Oh, yeah. That would be really cool. That would be awesome. We'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.